Welcome back to the grid, folks. It is F. Dot and Turtle one more time. We are one game in. Unfortunately, the Alpine guys could not climb above G2, but we'll see if they're ready for X set coming up next. Let's go. Let's go. So we did play these guys uh, last week. We ended up winning that in a game five. Uh, if you remember, uh, F. Dot, we won the first two games super convincingly. Mm -hmm. It was no sweat. We didn't even break a sweat at all, actually. We were cruising, clean rotations. Um, but then we started kind of throwing a little bit. I think the defense started getting panicky. Uh, we couldn't respond to the exit aggression, and then things kind of went south. But now we're back here to get a cleaner sweep, maybe a three-one. I think that I think you could be satisfied with three-one here. Yeah, uh, that'd be absolutely no problem. Exit a strong team in and of themselves. Alpha Cap, Alraz, and uh, J Powell certainly strong players in, in their yeah. own right. And so coming into this one, I think is a much more even matchup uh, for Alpine than we saw them go versus G2. Yeah. Well, I mean, even talking to Jordan, I, I don't think this this man himself, Jordan, in the interview that we did see last week, he, he said he thought that this game, or excuse me, the game against Exit was far too close, pushed to game five. He said that they didn't play that well towards the end of it. So you already know he's coming in with that uh, winner's mentality that he is the top tier team. Obviously, it's what we expect, but I think it's it's always fun to know that these guys don't view themselves as even teams when they're on a, a 1v1. Oh, for sure. You know, I, I always I always talk about how the importance of the coach is to be the the measuring stick. The coach is the one that needs to be a little bit more uh, unbiased, if you will. Right. If you want to be top, if you want to be top ten, you got to think you're top five. And if you want to be top five, you got to think you're top three. Oh, yeah. and if you want to be the best, you got to think you're top. You know, it, it just keeps going. Um, I almost. I almost got it right, but you know where I'm at. You, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta visualize it, bro. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and oh. so, like, yeah, I want to hear that from the players. I want to hear that they think they're they're the best of the best of the best. Unless you have a super cute strategy for beating a team better than you, I don't want to hear that a team is better than you. I, I want to hear that you're the best. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of cute strategies. Okay, you know me, F dot. Me too. Yeah, I'm also a big fan of Percy being on defense. There we go with the save. Got a little bit scary, I think, against G2. That might have been a goal because of how fast they were able to counterattack. But against x we're not going to be seeing the same midfield presence that we saw at a G2. It's almost like we went from facing one of the best teams in North America to a team that we have the advantage over. You know, it's, it's a different change of mentality. But we have the warm-up, okay? These guys compared to G2, this should hopefully be a breeze. That's the that's the game plan here. Lock ourselves in, understand what the opposition is trying to bring, and then right. you know, kind of kind of bring it to the next level for sure. So we'll see if that's going to be the case here, or uh, if not, <laughs> I I right now looking at pure possession time. You know that's that's honestly what I would like the most. People always talk about like. I mean, geez, sometimes on, on these, uh, the grid has been very cool to see how everybody wants to broadcast their, their rock yeah. suite. And I give a shout out to our production crew for kind of keeping things relatively simple. Circular boost gauge, you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Um, the stat I would like to see more is, is po like possession time. Oh, but the thing of it is, when you don't have possession, sometimes this will happen as well. When you're too aggressive, we had all the possession, and it's one clear to break our rotation just because of that third man. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a struggle. It's a struggle left out. So is that just because we don't have a player playing back far enough? I, I, I think our rotation was a little bit stagnant. Um, in that instance, a clear from their own net should never be one that rolls in. That's always been a rule in Rock League. No matter how far you push up, the third man rotating out should always be either predicting that that hit from them or in position far back enough to get the save. Didn't work out this time. No, sir. No, sir. That's rough. Oh, but good midfield pass. There we go. Percy to Magic Red. That's how it's done. Taking a little play out of Woo! G2 handbook. This is what I'm talking about. Kind of copy that approach. Because I think that Alpine is a relatively G2-style team whenever they go for those midfield passes. And notice how we didn't just use the corner. In that instance, it wasn't just thrown to the corner, a basic little hit across. We actually popped it out early. I thought you good? You good? Ow, ow. I burned myself. What? <laughs> How do you, are you in the kitchen right now cooking or something? What are you talking about? No, I'll probably be cooking up these plates. It's getting okay. too hot, Turtle. Okay. Woo! Okay. I don't believe you. I think you probably like cut your light bulb or something. That's exactly what I did. I knew it. I knew it, dude. <laughs> 
But he's like <laughs> like a six foot seven beast, bro. How high is the cake? No, the light's just not that. The light's not that far. You see, you see. Look, look, look well, Turtle's the only one that can see my camera. Okay, okay. So F dot in in his setup has the beaming light above him, <laughs> similar to the beaming light of, of passing that Alpine are you. You know, you see that? That was good. I'll give that to you. Okay. Oh, nice little segue. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> You're like a pro caster or something, huh? No, uh, that doesn't really make any sense, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Listen, uh, you just got to be able to facilitate from one end of the conversation <laughs> to the other. The way Alpine's trying to be able to do this in transition, oh. Alred, j Pow gets it in there for goal number two. You see that one? But these guys are fired up. Oh, and it's off of Alred. Look at the 50. He destroyed our defender in that corner, kept it forward, and then got the pass out. That That is that's difficult. In that instance, we just got to stuff him. That's all Wait, you gotta do. What the? What the? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What team are we playing against? Exit. Hello? We good? Why is Alpha Cat rocking the Space Station gaming decal? <laughs> this is unacceptable. I'm just this saying. This is betrayal. How is he gonna do that? His boy. I, I oh, Percy. Understand. Put it in. Put it in, Percy! Oh. Oh! Okay, it's okay. We have the aggression, good possession. Oh my, there it is, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we, boy! We the ball in. Bro, we, we have learned everything. F dot? Yeah. Thanks, man. You that was my longest yeah boy too. ever. I, I, is that from that meme, the yeah boy? Yes. Hey, you're, you were like the biggest boomer on the planet, bro. That's not true. Why, why, why are you attacking me like that? I'm sorry, man. It's, it's too. How fun is to that even a boomer me? That's not even a boomer me. It's too fun to call you boomer, and it's too fun to watch Alpine hit these boomers in. You know what I'm saying? That, that was a medium tier segment. Medium tier sentence. It, either way, it works because we continually, <laughs> we continuously have these passes. Look at it. We are the next G2. Okay, I'm telling you. We took it. We took same plays they were going for and now we tied it up we got five seconds left if we can force it overtime i see us taking this oh now unless j pal please don't stuff us not again not the 50 the 50 guys i was i was gonna make we're so much, like i we were not gonna you weren't gonna say anything i've okay? been trying to be nice to you today but i you're under a contract funny. now Rose. that's not true at all we but i would have roasted you there You're gonna lose against Magic Bear later on, and I'll, I'll, I'll roast you. Oh, there! Jordan's gonna roast the game. Who wants yes. dinner? Day one, yes. baby. It's my boy. It's my boy Percy. Look at that first touch. He kept it close to him, banged it in the corner, and then had to follow a follow-up hit instead of just giving away possession right away. Here, have the ball. He says, "You know what? I'm gonna keep this close. Go for a second hit." And it's our boys hitting it across the net yet again off a of passing play, getting involved. And it's Alpine to climb back. All right. No problem. There we go, baby. Game one. You do love to see it, though. You do love to see it. And hopefully we can continue uh, this cleaner gameplay because, like, like I talked about last week, we started to hit rock bottom in game three. We won game two or game one, excuse me, game two uh, pretty easily. I think this was a little bit tougher uh, than those last games because we kind of blew them out the water. But this time, keeping it a little bit close, ideally we can just keep this pressure the entire time um, and don't let up because that's really what caught us in the end was Xset got it warmed up a little bit. Their aggression picked up and we couldn't match it. I feel that. Yeah. This time around, Xset, you know, couldn't really find that rhythm. But again, we won the first two last week. So what do you think it was maybe too much information given? Because that's that that's something that I don't. <clears throat> I don't love that analysis in Rocket League. Am I wrong for that? What's analysis? What's analysis? The, the idea that, like, you've given away your strategy too much in game yeah, one or two. I, I don't really think that's that's a thing necessarily. Because even if the other team does have a, a way to, I guess, counter the, the way you're playing, it, Rocket League is an, a continuously changing uh, a game. Even throughout a series, you will see teams change up their play style multiple times. Right. Sometimes you can't even count on your hand. You know what I'm saying? So at, at what point... Do you just keep trying to adapt? And if you give out a strategy right away, the other team responds, then it's your job to give a response to that and keep going. That's kind of how it works. Back and forth and back and forth. Exactly, yeah. Well, that's why it's so entertaining as well, because sometimes 
a team that you have no idea uh, is somehow in the lead against maybe G2 or has, you know, an upset in the making. You know, you're, that's so entertaining to watch because they're responding to G2's playstyle, forcing them in uncomfortable situations. Just figure it out a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I've just been hurt myself all day today. It's, it's that light bulb, man. I, I don't know why you just got like a stray light bulb so close to you under your desk. Well, it's, I mean, it's the only thing in my house right now. That's why. <laughs> I have this, dude, I have the computer and the camera and like, you know, one of those, one of those foldable tables yeah. from like Walmart and like the light and that's it. Struggle of moving. You are a man who's living out of boxes. Yo, pure gamer world, dude. Exactly. I have my setup. I've got three monitors set up. Wow. And nothing else in the house. As long as you've got those, as long as you got those you're set. <laughs> and look at the space too. Okay, Percy. The bump maybe from Magic Bear on Alpha Cap. That was a good good save from him. He actually dodged the bump and still got a piece of that 50. And now they transition out, please. Okay, somebody there for the 50. I was waiting. I didn't see anybody rotate in. We finally had somebody come in. And now Jordan again. More demos. I love the aggression from Alpine. That's what we're oh. looking for. This is nuts. This is insane. This is what I want to see out of the boys. And I expected for for them against G2. Yeah, but against G2, it, 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 Okay. Bro, we are smacking them in the face with these 50s, bro. I'm telling you. Look at this. Look at this 50 from Percy. He just shoves himself in there. Is that even a fit? Like, that's a steal. That's not even like a... Man. Wait, actually, you're probably more right. Give me the, right. Yeah, give me the I, textbook I, I, definition of 50, actually. Well, I would actually consider that not even a 50. More or less a dunk because of the way he predicted with his flip. To right. get it around. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I'm not I'm not wrong noob moment here, chat. Sorry. I'm not Like, the 50 is just like 50-50 oh, right. shot. Before right. it. Okay, sweet. Yeah. The angle that he took, like, made that so intentional. That's... I, I don't... My bad, dude. I don't mean to dunk on you there. Oh, no, no, just, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Dude, it was just so impressive. Like, he predicted that movement. Yeah. What's well, an that interesting was... topic, too. With j Pal then breaking our ankles. This yeah. Man, for our whole team. Oh, gosh. And he even got the team bump. Okay. See, this is a play that we look at and we try to forget about instantly. But you're yep. right. I think yep. sometimes whenever you consider what a 50 is, it's just like two players somehow both touching the ball at the same time. But They just smash it and yeah, who knows where the ball goes. Somebody's actually predicting because, you know, especially even playing ranked with Fireburner, you realize that every time he goes for a 50, it's really not a 50. He's constantly trying to predict them instead of just go for an even match flipping the ball. Yeah, like um, th there's an old pool term to, to put like some English on a ball, like to add like a backspin, so yep. to speak. And that's sort of what you see the players do in those situations. This one, another, off of the corner. Magic Bear just there for it. Yeah. That's just straight up speed. If Magic Bear can beat out that first uh, opponent who's trying to get in front of that uh, shot, excuse me, that's when it's over. As soon as Magic Bear had the speed, GG, it's over. We got really? the one goal. Half of the game left. I like what I'm seeing. I like the demos especially. I still think that Alpine, when they're incorporating those physical plays, that's when we are at our best because we're creating the space for ourselves. Yeah, you've been a proponent of that. Jay Powell. Do we talk about this? Do we even talk about this F-Dot? Percy off the backboard. It was so awkward. It was so awkward. <laughs> off. I'm like shriveling up just looking at that play, man. I mean, that's just... Uh, Tony Hawk misses a kick flick, right? Like, that's just... That's a fundamental that I don't think nobody needs to yell at him for. Just like, dude, you messed that up. And he goes, yep, and we move on. <laughs> like, that's how that goes, man. Yeah. It also shows you how uh, strong a player's presence can actually play towards how the other player hits it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? j Powell just physically bullying. Just like pushing. I think that was Jordan underneath there. Just like... <laughs> Bro, you're getting PTSD. Every time I hear you laugh, I think you're roasting. <laughs> no, man. It was just funny. j Powell like... <laughs> It was like an extended bump. I'm here for that. It's almost like, no. and that's how you BM physically in Rocket League. If you can yeah. you bump somebody, that's how you know. You're communicating things without even having to say it. Okay? Like if you go that's, for the next great. bump after they spawn, that's toxic. And then you can, can you can start conditioning your opponent into like getting used to that and oh, he's going to bump me here. And then right. you don't, and then you, 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 you juke him and you, you get the goal, right? Okay, exit. They're getting tested right now with their defense. We have thrown a, a few huge clears at their wall. They've responded well. 
They always have somebody getting in, in front of a magic bar. I like the space that we are able to open up. And Percy forcing a 50 here in the midfield. Always having somebody to follow. Jordan to keep the pressure. Very good look so far. And again, the speed for Magic Bear far superior than anybody else in the field. Yeah, it's been really impressive kind of watching the way Magic Bear has just been, like you said, high speed. But just Magic Bear has been the, the go between. Oh here. my. He's Can we take a moment to just look at the goalkeeper in this instance? Just, just watch the beauty that unfolds right now. The fake. Oh, I got it. Oh. oh. I don't and got it. it's over. It's over. Just. Little movements like that can make the biggest difference. We made Jay Powell look embarrassed completely. Oh yeah, I mean that's it. My boy Percy. That's how it's done. Do you want to see it? 30 that, seconds. That's can we hang on? I think it's that's not, it's you, love, you love that's, to see me? Probably, you no. love to see me? That's, that's your feelings about me? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. All right, all right, all right. What is happening on the field right now? What am I watching? Everybody is in the same spot. Even the other team, we get the demo, and then now there's space. Did you just see the last 10 <laughs> seconds of where everything was? Yeah, I was just laughing. I was like, okay, all right. Yep. Even then the double commits. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. Jay Powell. Jay Powell, you got embarrassed, and you come back, and you're angry. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like watching j Powell score because I haven't had dinner yet, and that pizza looks delicious. <laughs> How are you going to get hungry off of a cartoon pizza? I... Bro, cartoon food? And I know you're I know you're an anime nerd. Yo, you I, can't okay. tell me that car, like anime and cartoon food okay. isn't always delicious. When Naruto is eating that ramen, I'm not going to I've always wanted some of that ramen. Almost as badly as I want Alpine to get a goal here in overtime. I really, I really, really would love to see this 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 goal come out for Alpine. <laughs> alright, alright, Percy starts us off with a hot little bang. And, and uh alright, I'll kept gonna get in the middle of it, but oh, the corner no. play? Okay, Percy. I think he's Jay Powell is with Yo, J Powell has been out of his mind today. Yeah. Even even though he got embarrassed. Completely embarrassed with that mind. Yeah. He's still yeah. been playing off and off. And the fact that he didn't let that get to him says even more. That's really where I was going to go. Is like, yo, he got he got kind of destroyed. But, like, he's still the top performer tonight. I think, yeah. Next sec, or at least in this set. Oh, bars. Okay. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, in a 50 game? Okay. Okay, Alpine pushing up a little bit. We have given j Powell some space, which is not good. He got the flip reset. <laughs> hey, my Percy. Okay. Okay. We gotta watch out for Jay Powell. The dude is feeling himself right now. Punctilious Percy. Can you say that title? Punctilious Percy? And the shot! As I say it, I guess that's like my Harry Potter spell to get a goal. I said that, and we got an instant response from Magic Bear from the corner, baby. <laughs> nice little play there. Four no, to tell three. me that doesn't sound like a spell, though. Tell me that doesn't sound like some kind of spell. Punctilious! See, you can play what I'm saying. We, I got them that dub. That's what I'm talking about. I, I feel that. But you gotta, I you, you gotta know. hold your, you gotta hold your wand. You gotta wand. You be, Harry Potter, you are not punctilious, right? Like, like what? You know, who is this? Which character? This have is, you even seen Harry Potter? No, it, it, yeah, it's like who, who is it? Uh, Se Several Snape, Several Snape, right? He, he holds his wand. Not like, sound like that. Though. He holds his wand. And he's like, Harry Potter. What? what are you doing? Hey, bro! Right? Yes. Like that's, this that's, is exactly how he sounds. I'm that's so what glad. I'm saying, man. You're, you're, my memory is finally coming back to me, you know, as I read the books and as I watch Magic Bear get that go off my own spell. Okay? I got yeah. that dub. 4 3. We're, we have we have close games, but here's the thing. We're still taking them at the end of the day. We got the clutch factor. The shooters. Listen, are man. Listen, man, as the as the as the wise ancient philosopher Vin Diesel once said, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. That's how it is. Are you quoting Vin Diesel right now? Yes, I am. Well, I'm amazed. You know, there's there's areas in which casting Game I thought three. would never go. Game three is one of them that I thought we would go to because we're gonna get a sweep. That's just how it is. Do you think so? I should stop saying stuff like that. I really You should. <laughs> I need a I need a new smell. A spell to get rid of the caster curse, but magic. You do need a new smell. Smell, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you walked into that. I can't. I can't leave that hanging. I cannot say. Hey. When you say I lavender, need to lavender, spell, I cannot say something. Look, lavender be hitting. Okay, magic bear be hitting this shot. Almost a pass in. You see Percy with the fake, taking his time. Percy has been patient, man. He got that mind game, and also being a little bit more uh, calm and relaxed whenever he's going for those fifties. I feel that. I like the again. You know, that's that's where I like to see Alpine. I uh, if you, it if, like if you grounded or more in the air, that's my question. For you. Uh, I like the more grounded. Um, okay. I feel like, and, and I'm still, you know, this is. If it is possible to be good at Rocket League, a top, if it is possible to be a top tier team that plays slowly, I think that's what I would like to see out of Alpine. I'm still like, can, is there, can you play slow, good Rocket League? It's, it's really difficult, man. I think yeah. that if you're not willing to match the speed, at least match it, sometimes you will get completely outplayed. Right. Like you, you have to be able to, in some instances, match that challenge and go for a 50. If you just constantly play passive, I, I think you're always going to be at the disadvantage. Sometimes you'll win, but it's not something that'll last long, and that's a crossbar bounce that we barely escaped with. <laughs> I didn't have a great water to for that, but it worked out. Oh, and Percy almost got the musty. Oh my goodness. Or was it a breezy? I think it was a breezy. That would have been nice. I, I, I would have watched it. <laughs> you're like, I would have, I would have liked it. I would have, I would have, you know, liked, commented, and subscribed. Okay, that's, okay. That's what I would have done. Yeah. I would have thrown a GoPon in chat, give our boys the energy that they need. There maybe it is. Cop, maybe cop some merch, exclamation mark merch in the chat. Ooh. These people are coming out feeling good. Just as good as Percy is right now in the midfield as well. Scoreless. The game has been out of control. Right. I mean that literally. I don't think anybody's controlled this ball. There hasn't been any real possession, in all honesty. Well, it's I mean, even been, look at the size of the players, too. You can see him from my own, own end. Excuse me. As oh, come on. Oh, bro. my goodness. How did he slip that under him? That's How a... He he's got to hit that, right? Like, that's a come on, bro. I mean, I, I don't know, because Magic Bear... There should have been a defender, as there should be one on our end. What Man, is that's that? That's a come on, bro. That, that's a come on, bro. What, what happened? Come on, Lee! Jay, oh, Powell, man. Jay Powell's our kryptonite, bro. We can't give this guy space. He recognizes when there's an open net. He's hitting his shots. He hit a flip reset almost uh, in the last game, an OT. And he got the clutch buzzer beater. Do not let this man have some space. That pizza avatar came up again, I'm just saying. Bro, now you're getting me hungry. I started thinking How about do you really Naruto. get hungry off of course you yeah, talking about the Naruto ramen, so of course I'm gonna get hungry. It's like the one except maybe like the SpongeBob Krabby Patty too. That no, one's pretty good. You, you ever watch uh oh, yeah. oh, Big Bear score just like that? That's what I'm hungry for! I'm eating! <laughs> what is this read? And then to hit it with the side of his He air rolled into it. I'm losing my mind over that. Magic Bear, you're insane. That's a Hall of Fame shot right there, baby. That's that was talking. that was really nuts. I mean, that play right there is why. I'm sorry if you're out there. Mouse and keyboard is just inferior. Like that that control he had over that roll was so. You know what I mean? Like that's that control is just so cute. Like, oh man, very very effective. So what you're saying is you could beat Yukio in a one v one. Nope. <laughs> I didn't want to say you. I didn't want to, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I just wanted to see what your response was to that. that was great. Nope. But I, I, I agree. I think There's a reason why everybody decides to use controller besides the rare select few people, you know? And and, and I'm here, like, honestly, I'm here for those rare select few, oh. few people. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm down. But I think that is absolutely the, the advantage you get is, yeah. is the pure control over the car. Like, it's insane. And I'm looking at Percy here on this goal. He was so passive in net. This is why I always like having that rotation not stop. It turned into an assembly line. You could see, I, th I believe it was Magic Bear and Percy. He caught up in the net because Percy didn't want to move out. If he doesn't go out, he has no chance of even challenging that 50. And then you're both stuck in net looking kind of lost as the goal just slots in. Mm. That's happened to us quite a few times. Uh, not just this match, but the last one yeah. as well. Um, so, you know, that's, 
that's where things start to become a trend and that becomes problematic like i said if you let one or two goals just sort of bounce out your 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 third player wasn't there in time or the transition was slow yeah. all right dude it happens once it happens twice it can happen a third time and it doesn't happen a fourth time right yeah. like that's where you have to all right something's up we got to assess this. oh there we go though oh i thought that was gonna be it how did jay tao re recover i thought that at 50 i'd force both players out of net and instead we're still just slamming this ball trying to figure out an opening the demo's not even going to create it and jay pal is there of course to clear it out mm, five seconds left percy gotta keep it up okay okay does he have a teammate Magic oh, Bear. Pop that one up. Pop that one up. All right. Off the ground. It's still off the ground. Ah! I believe. Did you see how close he was to force that 50 up? I really did believe. Oh, wow. And He's now in I'm the middle, scared. too. Now I'm scared. We got game three. This is the same thing this that what happened. happened. Last week. We can't be retelling the same old story, okay? So close. Almost got the 50. And actually, that they turn into a different team when it comes to game three. <sighs> I mean, what's got to – and and so I, I sort of asked this question before, but not directly, uh, talking about how you're able to sort of watch what the opponents do and then kind of download that information and respond. Is that the problem? Are we able to win games one and two because Alpine are just that good and then – after game three, the enemy team just knows how to respond. Is it, it, is it sort of like a one-dimensional play style, you think? Yeah, I, I think that it, it can be uh, brought down to those basics in terms of, you know, okay, now we've seen x -Set kind of get used to our play style. They can respond here. Right. And now Alpine has to make a change. A lot of teams, I think, will come into here. And this is where Mystic actually is a huge uh, part in this because a lot of teams will go up 2-0 and then lose that third game and think, okay, well, you know, we'll just keep playing our style. Um yeah instead of realizing the fact that Xset have figured us out, they know where to be, they're positioning themselves and matching our pace, getting uh, in front of a lot of the passes. We barely saw any midfield passes from this game alone uh, compared to game one and two. And also our rotations have been so slow. I think we need to pick those up because I'm thinking back to the Percy goal where he's stuck in net. Two players are sitting there. Somebody's right. got pushed out. Why are we being so passive type of thing? So I think Mystic will shine here. Um, and you're right. It is a response. We need to respond to their, uh, I guess, understanding of our play style, if that makes sense. Exactly right. You you like you like push it and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm watching the players. Yeah, trying to, I'm watching the players try to join the lobby and they're just not able to you know do it. <laughs> We're gonna jump into game real quick. Game numero four. Okay. Right? This is game four. You almost pulled me. You almost pulled me. This is game four. This is game four. Excellent work. Don't Excellent. notice how I had to double check too because I, I was scared to even say it. <laughs> No, it these is. these long sets, these long sets, and I mean, you know, five isn't even that long. Um, so again, the way it works here is if once you win two games, you wind up right. in what we call playoffs. Uh, even if you do lose one, you can make your way from bottom side bracket. When you get into playoffs, there is a best of seven. However, the team that is undefeated, the team from the top side of the bracket, will have a one-game advantage, yeah. meaning that they only need to win three games to win the set, and the players from the bottom side have to win four games to win the set. An interesting, an interesting yeah. look. Uh, you know, while while we're watching the first scoreless minute of Game Four here, what's your take on the format? I mean, I, I definitely think it's interesting. Uh, just the fact that we're going with that a uh, format right away whenever we get into playoffs. I think it's unique. It gives a much bigger advantage to that team who has been undefeated, which I think is great. I'm all for giving that team who comes in the advantage because, first of all, they don't have that much, uh, as many games, excuse me, under the belt, so they might not be as warm. So it's nice to have that first game to kind of uh, figure things out. It will be a huge advantage as Percy. Okay. It, it's an advantage when you got somebody mechanical like this on your team. Percy off the backboard makes it look easy. Man. Always on time. That was pretty, baby. Always on time. Do you know what punctilious means? I do not. Is that what you had me say in the spell thing? Punctilious. But wait, punctilious? What? Yes. It, it's not a spell. It, it is. It is. So I followed up. I said always on time. It's like very punctual. It, okay. It's more than punctual. It's like it is a timing based. <sighs> That's gross. It's like being meticulous, but with respect to 
time. Look at look at the timing on this play though. J pal. Please. Pizza, pizza. Please. Stop showing us the pizza first of all. Second of all, how are you gonna I'm keep gonna eating? order a pizza? Like I, I mean I'm down right I'm right there with you. Except I'm trying <laughs> to eat dairy, so I don't know what how I'm supposed to eat pizza without dairy. It's over. I mean, yeah, you can't. You can't. It's kinda over. Yeah, you, I guess you gotta go focaccia, right? Where you can go into like uh I don't even know pizza, what that is. It's pizza bread. You know, oh. you never had an old Italian grandmother, I could tell you. No. <laughs> the focaccia is, uh, we had that. <laughs> oh, what a midfield pass. Here we go. Okay. Okay. That's the midfield passing I want to see. All right. Here's another setup. The other two guys that jump on top. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I got to go. Yep. Uh-huh. All right. <sighs> yep. Now, now's our time to leave. This, where's the exit? Because again, the third man, the third man just left to get the pizza. He saw the J-Pal image and was like, you know what? Instead of rotating back, I'm gonna go get some pizza. I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna throw up a piece on and I'm gonna dip. And now we got nobody on defense. That's an open net given to exit. We can't be giving those up. We don't want to see a repeat of last week. And I don't want to see a game five force because J-Pal starting, he's looking more impressive than he was last week. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, this is the team that, you know, J-Pal and Alraz uh, last oh. year were, Sorry, that was a nice little save. No, it was a nice save. J Pal and Alrez last year, they played with Andy and Heck. They had like this four man roster, or like, oh, like okay. to say they had a four man roster, but really, Heck played one game and sat on the bench for the rest of the season, but that's besides the point. Um, like, they were, they, were, they were almost this good. And then you, you, you know, you swap out their other two players, no disrespect to Andy and Heck. Uh, you, you add Alpha Cap, who, you know, sure, works out, but it just, they just seem more focused than they were last year. Right. And, and Jay Powell is a big part of that for you. Well, I think it's, it speaks to that four-man uh, style as well. It's, it's difficult to bond with a team when there's so many different moving parts. That's a good double tap from Magic Bear. So close. And then he follows it up. Oh, oh. This, is, this is perfect rotation. I love the fact that he still was able to follow up after getting that shot in. Look at this. Look at, look at how close. Orange gets. Oh, oh J Pal almost just Dude. scoops it out. He always has an answer for us. We gotta take him out. Please demo this man. Stop <laughs> letting him drive around the field. We gotta take him out. Insane, man. He's playing really, really well. And and sort of going back to our full 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 circle to our original conversation about like team specificity. Right. You know, that's he's J Pal is playing well against Alpine because he's noticing where his opportunities are. Yeah. None of these plays are incredible 1v1, you know, self dribble shots. None of these plays are insane angles. They're just really like, I took the shot I was supposed, I took the high percentage shot, you yeah. know? And that's exactly. It's not that that's not impressive because it's impressive as heck. It just is less flat. Yeah, it's just, it's just routine. And like, we're allowing that to happen, which is the problem. When I'm even thinking back to uh, that that full field clear goal that Jay Powell got, even in mm -hmm. this game, as we're tied up here with 30, 35 seconds left, and that's what's forcing the overtime. It's a simple mistake like that where our, our defense hasn't really gotten the best rotation in. Nobody's back, but look at the pressure we have. We are abusing the backboard. That's something that has been going for us and working this entire series. We hit it off the backboard. We've got somebody falling up almost every time, but we can beat out that defender. We just have to try and hold down on defense and make sure we don't push up or excuse me, over aggress a little bit too much. Because I want to see us be, be aggro. It's just, with that third man, you got to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tall task. Jordan's going to take out J-Pow. Okay. Tied okay. at two. Zero seconds on the clock. Oh, the clear. Oh, that's it. That's it. All right. We got OT, OT, baby. It is. I believe we went to OT in game two, it was. Either way, we, we took the OT, okay? That's all that matters. We are the OT champions. At this moment, should I, I be like talking about this and cursing us? I don't know. Listen, if if if, if uh, Alpine loses, I won't make fun of you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I got you. True, true, true homeboy right here. I want to give a shout out to Knights in the chat. Do we play them at all today? Um, I believe they were not on our side of the bracket. Mm. They have. Oh, if we win this, we yeah, actually. 
They, they weren't on our side of the bracket in the uppers, but now in the lowers, we will play them. Oh, they wound up in the lower bracket? No, this is great. This is great. We see them in the chat. All right, we ain't scared. You see this overtime play? You see what we're, what we're bringing to the table, all right? The backboard reads, the double taps. I'm all here for it. I feel that as well, man. You know, I cast I, I, uh, I, I casted a tournament for, for the Knights with Leaf. Okay. It was hoops. Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this. <laughs> That's, I, I just wanted to say that. Okay, okay. okay. I, I'm getting scared, bro. I'm, I'm over here like sweating in silence. They've gotten no, so many thing. good shots. That's I'm not chilling. You gotta just chill. You gotta I'm chill. Not chilling. No, you gotta be chilling. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You're right. There you go. You're chilling. You're chilling. We're chilling. Now we're chilling. Okay, no, no big worries. deal. No big deal. Chilling. Magic Bear just clearing this one forward. He has some space to work with. Alpacab gets the save. And yet, we're not going for the midfield pass. I'm chilling, you know, I'm not upset, I'm happy. Yep. I hear great. you not chilling. I am chilling, okay? I'm not worried. Overtimes are my forte. I've, every single overtime I've won in my career, so. That's a stat, you can look it up. Just wanna, just wanna let you know. Really, are you, uh, are you no, the I, clutch? I, no, I'm the worst. Don't, I, like, I suck. Anyway, back to <laughs> I don't wanna talk about my skills. Uh, two minutes, two goals on two goals. Teams oh, have control the ball. Jay Paul, oh, the fake. he fakes himself, and Percy's able to steal momentum. Alpha Cap though takes it away. I'm getting scared. I'm shaking right now. I'm not. I'm chilling. On, okay, we have. Oh, the fake from Jordan. This could be it. There's some space in the midfield. Get that pass off the match where it's in the middle and the shot. I'm chilling. I'm We're chilling. chilling. I'm Absolutely chilling. chilling. No I told you sweat. I was chilling. You were right. I, I believe in you. Okay, I saw Jordan get that mind game in the field. He got the pass off. He's insane. He's insane. Absolutely you gotta just insane. be chilling. You gotta okay. be chilling. I mean, I wasn't chilling, but I was at the same time. I was reciprocating your chilling vibes. That's what I'm saying. You love to see it. Three oh, games baby. to one. X set goes down. Down. In and now the Knights. We saw them in the chat, okay? We're not worried. Well, we're, well we're here. We're the Clutch Boys. We're the Clutch Boys. We, 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 to the Knights, you know, we're, we're, it's, it, Knights are thumbs up, but now they're our opponent, right? Yes. All right, Knights, you're going down! That's right. Ooh, the Knights. That's right, baby. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Knights, more like Pittsburgh, not Knights. Days. Pittsburgh days. Yeah. Yeah. What is like, happening? You know, like nights, nighttime, days, like oh, uh, bars, God. bars, bro. You're dropping heat right now, and Alpine, we're dropping heat on the field. Did you see the shots, bro? And also, can you just peep this up with the transitions right now? They have been so corny, but it works every time. Because how are you not going to talk about the fake, the OT fake to get in the midfield? Jordan carried it. I don't even care. He might not have done that much in the, in the middle of the games, but the fact that he clutched it out at the end, Jordan, he's got my vote. I, I've been watching, dude. It's so much fun. These guys are these guys come out and they play real well. And and, and to get serious for a second, I mean, this is absolutely a, like the definition of an up and coming team. You're going to see them make mistakes and lose to top end teams, and you're going to see them come out and, and pull out stuff right. that top end teams pull out. And I think that's a lot of fun to, to kind of. Th this is the type of team that I want to follow on the right. grid because you know you, you never know what's going to be happening here. So yeah. And now the Knights, you know, I'm reading the chat right now, and they're saying they're gonna they're gonna throw us back down the slopes, Alpine. I don't Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay? I don't know about it. This know. this is unacceptable. Okay, we're gonna take that to heart. I'm gonna relay that information to the players. No, I'm just kidding, because they don't even need it. They're, they're too confident anyway. You could tell them anything, and Jordan's gonna come out here, fake everybody on the Knights. I'm excited for it. I mean, so far, boys, we're making playoffs. Well, well, don't worry. They're gonna yell and cause an avalanche. Okay, okay, <laughs> an avalanche. <laughs> yep, uh-huh. Avalanche. Yep. You're even roasting um, the night spelling. We're going to go to break. We're going to go to break. That's it. Uh, we'll be back to play against the Pittsburgh Days in a little bit.